On the 14th of April 1561, the people of Nuremberg in Germany witnessed a dreadful apparition in the sky. Welcome to History Pod. The spectacle in the skies above Nuremberg was recorded by the artist Hans Glaser, who lived in the city and so presumably witnessed the event himself. He published a woodcut and text in a local broadsheet, a kind of tabloid newspaper that revelled in reporting strange or violent stories. The woodcut shows cylindrical objects, multiple coloured discs and globes, crosses and even tubes that look like cannon barrels all moving across the sky. Modern UFO enthusiasts have used the Nuremberg celestial phenomenon as evidence of extraterrestrial life, although various scientists have also put forward their own explanations of why hundreds of people saw what was described as an aerial battle raging in front of the sun. There's no way of knowing how accurate Glazer's woodcut truly is, nor what actually caused the shapes in the sky. However, recent science has suggested that atmospheric phenomena are responsible. UFO sceptic Frank Johnson wrote an argument suggesting that the people of Nuremberg witnessed a parhelion, otherwise known as a sun dog, which is caused by light refracting through clouds of ice crystals. His argument suggests that this was combined with other atmospheric tricks of the light, such as a low viewing angle of the sun due to the early time of day at which the phenomenon took place. Other commentators have suggested that a citywide outbreak of ergotism, in which fungus growing on grain can cause hallucinations, may have been responsible. But whatever the actual cause, whether extraterrestrial or scientific, the celestial phenomenon terrified the people of Nuremberg, who interpreted it as a warning from God. Mm -hmm. 